We have another loaded show on the docket for today's Philadelphia Eagles now. And as we look ahead to the NFL trade deadline on November 5th, it has been moved back a week. I just want to give you the latest Eagles trade buzz here with the current construction of this team and take a look at some players who Philadelphia could trade off of their currently existing roster, but also some external options and players who Philadelphia could bring in as far as trade targets go. Before we dive into all of this and explore it, a programming alert. Be sure to join us Sunday, Eagles, Buccaneers, Watch Party, NFL Week 4. We will be live beginning with an hour pregame show at noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon as well. Therefore, anytime we go live, you will be notified. And our watch party is the best place to experience an Eagles game day if you're not actually at the game. We like to make it a family friendly type of environment where it's almost like we're hanging out in a living room watching the Eagles together live play-by-play -play, audience interaction instant reactions we kind of have that being at the bar type of feel where we get crazy we celebrate the highs and we deal with the lows and so far throughout this year we have done some massive numbers 300 plus K nearly 200 K more than 100 K the most viewed Eagles watch parties right here on YouTube. Let's begin with this. Could the Philadelphia Eagles trade Bryce Huff? So the Eagles in free agency and Howie Roseman gave him $34 million in guaranteed money. And so far this year, he is playing less than 50% of the snaps for the Eagles. And that was the same case last year when he played less than 50% of the snaps with the New York Jets. What's alarming? He's actually playing less with Philadelphia after getting that bag than he did last year with New York when even though he logged less than 50% of the snaps, he still had 10 sacks. And Brandon Graham, who's in the final year of his NFL career, who's been in the league for a decade and a half, outsnapped him last week against New Orleans. And when asked what Bryce Huff needs to do to get on the field more, Vic Fangio said he needs to play better and will continue to sprinkle him in. That's not what you want to hear from a guy who's making $17 million per year. And this is not what you want to see from a player who you made a big investment in and you were counting on to get after the quarterback, sack the quarterback, and give you a stout pass rush. Through three games, Bryce Huff, zero sacks, zero solo tackles, zero quarterback hits, two pressures. He didn't wear the number zero because he envisioned his stat line being a fat zero and goose egg through three games. But so far, that's exactly what he's given this Eagles team. And his pro football focus numbers, not much better. Overall grade of 53.2. Run defense grade, always been a weakness for him. 48.6. And his pass rushing grade is 56.8. The thought here in maybe trading him is this. Do you try to get rid of that contract? You might have to pay to get rid of that contract, but do you try to rid yourselves of that contract, no longer deal with the drama, and just get rid of Bryce Huff, eat your losses, and admit that signing him was a failure? My trade idea, send him back to the New York Jets. Bring us back Hassan Reddick, who still has not reported to the New York Jets and is getting fined for every game that he misses, getting docked his game checks. But because Hassan Reddick is on an expiring deal, and because Bryce Huff has more years on his deal, you might have to attach a fourth-round pick. You still get the third from Hassan Reddick and that trade that you made with New York, but you increase your roster as far as your pass rushing ability goes, and the Eagles bring back Hassan Reddick, and maybe they sign him to that contract extension, and they admit, Bryce Huff was a failure. We should have never let go of Hassan Reddick. Good businesses. They will admit their flaws. Good relationships, you will admit your flaws. Howie Roseman might have to do the same thing. Next trade candidate for Philadelphia. Could the Eagles trade away Devin White? I think it's pretty telling how he was a healthy scratch the last two games. And what came to my mind immediately, are the Eagles just trying to keep him healthy so that they can trade him? Because no team wants damaged goods, and if he does get hurt, his trade value plummets. It's the only reason that him being a healthy scratch makes sense. 
And I get it. Zach Bond has played awesome football. Nicobe Dean has played really well. They're giving this defense an edge and a lift at that linebacker spot. It's probably the best linebacking play that the Eagles have had in quite some time. Zach Bond giving you shades of TJ Edwards, the last best linebacker on this Eagles team. But Devin White, at least as a value piece, at least as a rotational linebacker, a guy who can rush the quarterback and has done that successfully, he's healthy scratch the last two games. Clearly, Zach Bond and Nicobe Dean have impressed Vic Fangio, whereas Devin White has not. Now, with Bond, he's tied for the most solo tackles in the NFL. He's been a great story and a bargain deal. And when you have a player like Nicobe Dean, he's giving this team instinctual linebacking play where he can read and diagnose plays before they happen. He can foresee what's going to come. He can plug those run gaps. He's been pretty good making tackles in the pass game, in the flat. He has struggled a little bit in pass coverage. So it's a good sign that Zach Bond and Nicobe Dean are playing so well. It's just mysterious why Devin White is not even seeing the field for this team. And he's not even active on game days. That tells me the Eagles might try to trade him. Where could Huff and White go? A team consistently mentioned is the Las Vegas Raiders. They do have some quality defensive pieces. But the Raiders, as far as pass rushers go, lost Malcolm Koontz for the rest of the year knee injury during practice last week. Max Crosby, one of the top edge rushers in the game, he is hurt. So that could be a destination for one or two of those players in addition to a Bryce Huff trade to the New York Jets. Before we move forward, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Whenever the Eagles make a move and if they do make a trade, we have you covered. And then anytime there is a report or there's some buzz out there, we'll explore that here on the show. Next up, some Eagles trade targets externally. We threw out Hassan Reddick a little bit earlier. DJ Jones is a pretty good run-stuffing and pass-rushing defensive tackle who's somewhat affordable. He's currently playing for the Denver Broncos. They could be in sell mode. I know they beat the Bucs in Week 3, but they're going to be probably a bottom-10 team this year. Philadelphia could look to upgrade at the depth-wide receiver spots because of the injuries to A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, and Britton Covey. You have Robert Woods and John Mechie there. And then let's talk about Devontae Adams here. I know it's out of the realm of possibility, but a lot of Eagles fans have reached out to me. Chase, could the Eagles trade for Devontae Adams? Could Howie Roseman pull off a highway robbery? You think about Adams' situation in Las Vegas, and I was talking to one of my great friends, Mitchell Renz, who is the host of the Raiders Report here at Chat Sports. He thinks that Devontae Adams and his time with the Raiders is coming to an end. Devontae Adams has taken to Instagram, and he's made some subtlety type of comments that he could be going somewhere at some point. The Raiders right now are a hot pile of garbage, and it was the most Raiders thing that in week two, they go on the road, and they take down one of the top teams in the AFC in the Baltimore Ravens, and then the Raiders come back home against Andy Dalton, and the Carolina Panthers, the worst team in football, and they get shellacked. Adams last year was miserable. This year, he's miserable. And if the Raiders keep losing, will he get dealt? I don't think the Raiders want to do him any favors and trade him to a team like the New York Jets because that would also be in conference. Could they trade him out of conference to Philadelphia? We know that Howie Roseman is very aggressive. I don't really see this happening. Now, through three games, Devontae Adams... Some pretty good numbers with Gardner Minshew at quarterback, but that offense isn't good. Luke Getze is a joke of an offensive coordinator. He did nothing with Chicago. Justin Fields played poorly under him. Now Justin Fields is 3-0 and under Arthur Smith as the OC with the Pittsburgh Steelers. So that's an indictment on Luke Getze. And then he gets hired by Las Vegas. It never made any sense. So I think the Eagles have traded for their wide receiver to answer a lot of the DMs and the messages that I have received from Eagles fans and I don't think they're going to go out and trade for Devontae Adams, but something that I wanted to hit on and address here on the show. Be sure to give me a follow on X and Instagram at Chase underscore Senior. I put out, obviously, long-form content every single day here on Eagles Now, but I also put out some short-form content covering the birds on my social media pages.